Alright, so I recently made a video on uh, MGTOW, right, and uh, trying to state my case, you know, why I think it's kind of counterintuitive and whatnot. So it led me to realize that maybe maybe I should also make one for guys out there that are just kind of on the fence and don't really, uh, don't really understand what's going on or do understand what's going on and are just frustrated. I mean, there's something really bizarre going on right now in the social climate where things have kind of shifted and men are kind of looked down upon men aren't appreciated in society the way they once were you know there was a time you know just the man or the woman can go out and work the family would be fine the family would be comfortable well taken care of and now in many situations in in most situations i would say both parents are at work there's nobody at home technically i personally think it's important that both parents are at home and are able to make money um from home or at least not having to leave their families for so long at a time, but there are situations like that, right? I personally don't like the jobs where you have to fucking, you know, leave for weeks or months on end. I think the family structure is very important. I stand, I stand behind the family structure. Maybe it's because I didn't have it. Maybe it's because I didn't see it that way. Although I will say this, there are a lot of mothers and fathers out there that are not built to uphold a proper family structure. They're, they're just not. And uh, that creates another problem. So when I say things like I believe in the nuclear family, I believe in a right nuclear family. Not these, you know, bumbling idiots that don't know what the fuck they're doing. And there's quite a few of those out there. So I, I can only speak from my perspective and from what I see and what I believe. You know, I was very frustrated with women for a lot of my life. Many of them seemed very disingenuous, very shallow, you know, but also the thing about that was I wasn't right myself. Before I was able, before anybody's able to point the finger at, it, at any other equation in any situation, you got to point the finger at yourself and say, okay, hold on. What am I doing wrong? Am I, am I doing something wrong? Am I fucking up here? Am I bugging? And, and I particularly was. That doesn't always mean that's the only equation that's fucking up though you know what i mean that doesn't always mean it's all it's just on you it's just you need to recognize what you're bringing to the table that's disastrous because you're the one who has to fix that part and once you're able to fix that part then you can much it's much easier to to figure out who else is just kind of making things harder than it needs to be uh, you know i'm a firm believer in that if you build yourself up and if you look inward and you focus on yourself zero in on the problems that you have the issues that you have your social quirks and your uh outline behaviors that might be a little bit unsavory things become a lot clearer uh on what's going on around you and the type of people that you're s surrounding yourself with that's when it gets easy to realize whether or not you're appreciated for just who you are and, and being who you are and what you are i mean when it comes down to it we're all human beings on this planet but we all are different women have different qualities that they bring to the table than men and vice versa these things i believe is why the the family structure is so important is because there, there's that balance it, it balances itself out women focus on things that the men don't focus on and men focus on things that the women don't focus on and that's a balance because life is all about balance it, it's it's everything because things are can, can get drastically one-sided but now you know here, here we have you know the, these narratives or these things that are completely against men and, and masculinity what it is to be masculine there's a misrepresentation of what masculinity is i'm not much of a spiritual man but i believe in the divine feminine and the divine masculine uh because I, like i talk about balance a lot and i think that is inherently a balance between the feminine and the masculine there's that balance i think that's why the family structure works but it's being broken down in society like people don't for some reason are, are stepping away from the idea of the nuclear family and i think it's dangerous because you see what happens to, to kids in fatherless homes even motherless homes you see what happens but we have far more fatherless homes so you see what happens to these kids that are growing up in fatherless homes tragic often there's no guidance there you know men are think differently you know they think they think more about guidance they think more about teaching certain facts of life they think about having the right perspective looking at things in the right way obviously not all men there are a lot of fucking douchebags out there but you know women consider protection uh as far as emotional protection those are things that men have to keep in check because you can't protect them too emotionally women are nurturing people they're loving people well at least that's the the classic role of the woman you need that mother 
influence in your life because both of your parents are your ideologies of what a, a man or a woman is supposed to be in life they're supposed to be that representation they're supposed to be that lead by example idea of what the opposite sex is supposed to be or the same sex is supposed to be kids pay attention to these things and when we you know when we, when we grow up in fatherless homes as mostly the case is that there's a loss of that guidance there is a loss of that structure the boundaries and the parameters you know i see a lot of the times with single mothers they will treat the child as they'll, they'll treat the child as if they don't have anything to offer them as far as intellectual guidance it's like they assume the child has got it figured out enough and, and they'll work it out along the way in which they will that is a true thing however without that guidance there without those little tidbits of information it, it just it, it makes it so much harder than it has to be you know for boys a boy needs to look up to his father and say that's the that's the kind of man that, that i'd like to be like or or that's the kind of man that i'd like to be better than hopefully for me it's the kind of man that i'd like to be better than i spent a lot of my years fucking up as a complete fuck up luckily today i have the opportunity to turn that around and for the woman you know the the mother is supposed to be the outlook of of what a woman's supposed to be vice versa for the boy well that's how a woman is supposed to be that's how a woman is supposed to act that's the type of woman that is respectable enough for me to pay attention to and vice versa for the girl you know then you get into the all these things like well people are gay people are this and that uh pronouns but that's a non sequitur because the same rule still applies people can do what they wish but i'm i'm talking about the brass tacks of what it is to be in a nuclear family and how important it is and i think it's very important to, to society i think it's irresponsible to send too many young men and women off into the world without a fatherly influence or a proper motherly influence it baffles me the people that can't see the importance of that of, of having that structure there and seeing and learning and those kids learning paying attention just getting getting the right idea but then here's here's another problem you have a lot of parents out there that don't think on that wavelength and most of the parents they're working so often there is no time for these things there is no time for guidance there is no there is no time for building the self the identity you know when you say something like you know back in the day you know one parent could work and this and that the only difference is economics you were able to work one job one person was able to work one job and uphold the family and live in a decent home have a decent car and i don't see how that's missed on people i don't you know the the reason that there's such backlash from from people like you know the MGTOW group there are a lot of fathers out there that are being treated unfair and it is looked at just in such a sociopathic way just like fuck them you know what i mean fuck them you know it's it's hard when i have to explain to my son because he's thinking about going to college it's hard for me to say like listen you're going to be considered a white male and god forbid you have the wrong perspective on things it's going to make you villainized in some sort in the eyes of some people you have to watch out for that i'm not sure if he understands that yet i mean hopefully the climate changes but there's nothing that we can really do other than prepare our sons and daughters for these types of things that they're going to run into and trying to give them the ammunition they need to to defend off ad hominem attacks and to, to be attacked for somebody like me to be attacked by like some like MGTOW or something like a man trying to look out for his family and saying listen don't abandon that don't abandon the possibility of creating that just because things are fucked up is crazy and i'm not saying like back in the day there used to be called bachelors that was basically um that was MGTOW be a bachelor then but don't start a hate campaign against women we we, we need to address it in a different way because if we dress it with hate we're addressing it with emotion and emotion gets us nowhere because it clouds our judgment there's a real problem with with the relationship between the state and the woman now i've got a little bit of faith because i had i had to go to child support my first two kids and i came in there with all my receipts and i said look no i want 50 50 and they gave it to me there was a year that i was absent uh, or maybe a year and a half that i was absent that they made me uh, pay back child support still i don't think back child support is reasonable um i owe you money for what you know we made a decision or well rather she made the decision back in the day to have the kids you know i don't know why i owe her money for something that we did together 
Although I love my kids very much and I'm very thankful that they are here. But the point remains. But I digress. And then, you know, on the other end of it, there is no push to say, Hey, you do need your father. You need to, to be in his life. He needs to be in your life. Most people just don't understand how important it is. There was a time that I wasn't worth much to my kids. But we are under a very different circumstance right now, you know. I'm not out in the streets. I'm not wilding out like I was. You know, I'm, I'm solid. Alright, we're at about 10 minutes if you push through that whole thing with me. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate you. Um, if you like uh, any of my content, if you like donate and hit my uh, Patreon, like, subscribe, share. Much love, y'all. See, madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. <laughs>